Sorry about that. This is going to be a two-part video, evidently. So, this is second blade, cyan with the substantial flicker, cyan crystals, and cyan color cycle. That spins down to white and then to off. Next up, we have a really heavy pulsing um, ice blue. This is uh, a, a font that I kind of made myself. I butchered a few to create something that I wanted, but this is, I believe, Bespin 2, but with the smooth swing swing font sounds from the, um, shoot, I think it's from maybe Thexter's sound font, but this is, this is running the new smooth swing algorithm. Uh, I hate to say it, guys, but it's not, it's not done yet. It's not ready yet. Or at least maybe just this font isn't, but... Or maybe I just don't know what I'm doing with it, but here's the issue. It works really well. It's incredibly responsive, so... But if you swing the saber, ready? It just doesn't work right. You need distinct swings. Yeah, let me do a side-by-side -side real quick for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. Here is my own personal Raflex. Of course the volume's turned down. Alright, ready? Here's a swing. Notice the difference? Like that's a distinct swing sound that we're used to. This one? Like every tenth swing is kind of what you want it to be, but the other nine out of ten are just some kind of weird high-pitched whales that aren't... It's, it's close. I mean, the idea is great. The execution is really getting there, but it just... There's something else that we're missing as far as how it works or how the sound fonts have been built so far. The swing sounds need to be more drastic. Um more separated. The way it works now is that it's looped, so it's constantly playing a swing sound at a, di at a different pitch depending on how fast you're moving and in what direction you're going and so forth. But it needs to be like this when you hear a swing the old school technology way. It, it's a distinct sound all of its own that's unrelated to the hum um, that the saber is always making. The idea is great, and it's getting better and better. Uh, Frederick and Thexter and everybody else working on it, you guys are doing a phenomenal job on it. Something's missing at this point. Back to the saber, however. Mark, if you don't like this smooth swing setup, uh, just let me know and I'll put a standard font back on in, in the place of this blade but I just wanted to include it. Uh, next up, you've got green. This is a new experimental blade that I have been working on. It's like the Tron cycle blade, but what it is is rather than being a cycle blade, it's a standard blue blade, but rather than going on and off, up and down, it cycles on and cycles off. Just a, you know, a new twist on saber blades. An extra cool option. Fire blade in blue. If 
Fire Blade and Green. Audio Flicker Yellow White Blade with a Blue Flash on Clash. This is the Sunlight Color Blade with a really strong pulse. Blood Orange Pulsing Blade. This is my Tron Blade in blue. Then in green. Unicorn Blade. Fire Blade. Love the blade lockup function with the Fire Blade. It's just so awesome how intense the flame gets. If you look in the, in the reflection back here, you can tell that mostly the fire blade is red with orange. You get a lock up, it's mostly really super hot white with yellow. So it's a major difference. Rainbow blade. Strobe. Love the effect here. You get an insane amount of light, color cycle strobing, crystals strobing, blades strobing. This is the POV blade. It looks like you're juggling fire, but it's intended to be a Star Wars logo. You basically wave it side to side over your head one time with a reduced exposure rate set to, I think, one second, maybe two seconds. Take a picture, and the picture will show up with you holding a hilt and the Star Wars logo over your head. Um, it's easy for me to say that. I still haven't pulled it off, but I know it works. There is your battery meter blade. And back to the beginning. Um, what I really love about this guy is it's incredibly clean. Everything works really well. Everything goes together and comes apart seamlessly and fits super smooth. Um, the blade, awesome on this guy. I'm not sure why. Maybe I was just having a good hair day or something, but this blade is stupid bright, incredibly even, just really happy with this blade. In all my blades, I spend a lot of time on getting them just right. But I feel like this one is just better than better than typical. I mean that's just that's bright. Let's put it up side by side with my own home personal. Let's see if I can Yeah, I mean that's brighter than my blade. Why? I don't know. The, it's got the exact same components, same LEDs, same electronics, uh, different battery. This doesn't have a 2170, it's got an 18650. I mean, they're both great, but this guy, Mark, your blade is a t 